yeah, what's going on? Uh, I want to talk about some Flint water issues uh, in its relation to jail. And uh, it's like a lot of people don't know this, dude, that bottled water, the, the, the plastic, when it interacts with light, it has a estrogen mimicking chemical. So that's your gay bomb. That's your, uh, the Joker put something in the water to make everyone go crazy. It's also the gay bomb. Uh, and they're also known in jails to give you something called uh, soft, soft Peter, which is uh, it's chemicals that they put in your sweet drinks to make your penis so it can't get hard. Uh, once again, this is also a very effeminizing of a practice because I mean even if I mean if you're gay in there you're gonna find what you're looking for but if you're straight uh, even if you're gonna need your manly uh, uh, let me think your manly uh, uh, energies man to uh, fend off like uh, people just potentially you know what I'm saying uh, but that's one way that they're gay bombing the, uh, the shizzle out of us already and look they, dude, they used to have something called monkey brains, which was like, no one really knew what the meat was. It was just so nasty. They called it monkey brains. Well, this time I'm in there, and they give you something called a soybean patty. Once again, soybeans are effeminizing. Uh, anytime a man eats soy, it puts estrogen in, more estrogen in his body. Once again, it's gay bomb. Like a mug, dude. Uh, which is, uh, it was like, look, dude, I was sitting in there and it was like, uh, they had me sitting on a bench. They wouldn't even put me in a room, had me shackled to a bench, stripped me naked from once I got it, as soon as I got there. Um, which is dehumanizing, demoralizing, and once again, it's a feminizing because, uh, it, they strip you of your manhood, in a way, by basically ripping down your fucking drawers as soon as you come in the damn door. Uh, uh, it, it's just uh, rampant gay bomb uh, activity. But yeah, this this soybean patty, oh my god, I, I had to rip off little chunks. I, I ripped off about three pieces about size of a little pill, and I put it in my mouth and had to drink the water down. To make it go down. I mean, and dude, listen. there, There's people from different cities coming up here to Flint. And they're snagging up the free water supplies. I mean, there's just water everywhere now. Like, it's just like a big and... It was a bit... Like, look. Water bottles everywhere. Uh, just every... Like, you'll see full water bottles laying on the side of the road. Uh, it's weird how they got us... Th this is almost like bread lines. Uh, even though it is pretty nice. The churches, they're giving out sanitizers, baby wipes. They're doing... It's, it's nice for the hood, but once again, this is BPH, uh, estrogen mimicking water as well. And who what's to say that, yeah, the tap wa water is going to mess you up, but this is a perfect time to slip in something in the water and hit us up again with extra gay bomb. Uh, I, it's really messed up. This is really true, the gay bomb. And, and this could be just a form of, of super psychological fear tactics for redevelop, uh, redevelopment, which means you kick all the poorer people out so they go to a worse city like the ghetto. Like in, in Germany, the ghetto, this is where this, this segregation in the, in the subtle nudging, it, it, it starts off subtle, but then it gets into a, a full-fledged, then it turns into a jackboot standing on the face of humanity forever. Uh... And this is one of the ways they do it in first is a soft kill, the slow kill. You got GMO food, GMO soy. That's what you got to eat from when you get in there. Look, I, I couldn't eat it. I was praying, though. I mean, and listen, I was freezing, sitting on that cold bench, just in that jumpsuit. But I wasn't in a Bam Bam now. See, and here's another thing. There was a guy in the background for a minute, and he was going, Ooh. It, I mean, it sounded, I was. I, I thought to myself, is this, is this fucking Guantanamo? I mean, it sounds like they're waterboarding this mug in the back. Uh, but they're, if you go to jail, you really will see some people high out of their mind. And you'll see some uh, real demonic, demoniac types. Or whether they're doing it for a show, 
because the, they don't really pay you much attention in there. So I could see how some people are on such a display that they know if they throw a big enough fit, they get uh, slight preferential treatment. But then they got to walk around in something called a Bam Bam suit, which it cuts off right below. It, it, it goes up three quarters of the way up your knee, above your knee. So if you're a guy, you walk around with this dress on in there. More effeminization. This is more psychological. So gay bomb like a mug up in there. I mean, look, I was praying there, uh, and I, was, I prayed the Father's Prayer probably like five times, and I was thinking to myself, I'm, I'm not going to make it. And then, uh, you know, I was praying for a cell. You know, you know, I wasn't even praying for, oh, God, please let me get some food, even though I'm starving. Because this guy comes and snatches me up early in the morning. And I'm telling, I'm warning everyone in the house. I'm like, if this guy ain't who he says he is, and I don't show up in the jail and I disappear, I go, you tell everyone what happened on the Internet. And this dude was looking at me like, it was one guy by himself. And, and the men in black guy, it, he really was a sheriff. So... He uh, was doing surveillance on me for like a good at least month and a half. So that explains that. That's good to know it wasn't the real men in black, even though this guy does have the tactic of like Mulder. Uh, he says, can I come in? And before you say, yeah, he already is walking in. So, and I got to give the guy balls or he got balls for wa for doing that by himself. But I seen when I, when I doubted his, his, uh, his uh, legitimacy he, it like hurt his feelings. He's like, what? Why do you think that way? He goes, what are you really involved in? And it's like, man, dude, I study politics, geopolitics. I mean, you could say theories. Yes, there's theories involved in scientific process, scientific theory. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Scientific method. So theory is scientific method. You make a hypothesis, which is basically a theory, and then you figure out a way to prove whether it's true or not. So, once again, that blows your conspiracy dismissal uh, techniques right out the water. And once again, conspiracy is part of the RICO Act. And even our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, was conspiracy. And it's, it's documented in the Bible that there was a conspiracy to kill him. Then after, to conceal his death and cover it up. Isaiah said there was a conspiracy to kill the, the righteous or so, something to that effect. I'm just saying. So... This stuff isn't uh, ancient uh, Egyptian hieroglyphics, man. It's just really common sense. Look at it for what it is. It's a big magic act. And they got you all uh, estrogen if found out while you're in there as well. So that will help with the magicianry for you to break psychologically. But anyway, back to the prayers. They sent me up to the to the trustee floor. That's basically where you or we work for them until you get out of jail. But it's a lot better than being in the bullpen or on gladiator floor is what they call it, uh, where the prostitute killer got stabbed with the chicken bone in his face and half his face went bleh, dead. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to be in there. Uh, as much as I do like, you know, I do like to fight, I, I wouldn't want to have to do that now. You know what I'm saying? And it's like they will get in fight, they will get in a fight over the, the soft penis Kool-Aid. And I love to say the way it sounds, soft, impotence, Kool-Aid. Uh, impotent salt, basically. So, uh, well, yeah, hopefully that it wears off real good after you get out. But, you know, when you go in the shower and you get hit with that lead infused and uh, uh, biosynthesis with the uh, other chemicals from the chemtrails, man, it's not good for us. Uh, but here's a, here's a little known fact about fluoride. It has the least effect on Anglo Ameri or Anglo uh, people. It has the next highest effect on the Mexicans and the Indians. But for some reason, black people are designed in such a way that fluoride, it's, it's exponentially like 70 times more worse for them than it is for other people that are non-black. I mean, the Mexicans, it's like we get a third more than the whites. Which have the, and I, so a white person could drink fluoride with you all day, but if there was a Mexican a black guy, the the Mexican would get the uh, the blacks would get the symptoms bad first. The Mexican it'd take a little longer. White people still get the symptoms too, but for some reason they have a genetic immunity to fluoride. So that's something that's not reported a lot. Uh, 
And in jail, it, it is always an unhonest amount of, of uh, people in there occupied. It's mostly blacks and minorities. But they don't really, they're not biased. If you're, if, look, you got a warrant, you're, it doesn't matter. They're going to treat a murderer, a rapist, uh, a, a child support uh, uh, guy uh, who owes just some money, man. Just some money. They treat you just as bad as if you're fucking Scarface or you're Osama Bin Laden or El Chapo, uh, in a way. And so I'll give them that. They're fair. But I was thinking to myself that in this instance in my life, the, the only crime I'm guilty of is being broke and being hit by the economic warfare, which is like a fucking atomic bomb. And you can look at my video, uh, uh, the Seder shall dance there, ghost hoods in parentheses, uh, so, I'm just telling you, and it's like, you, you know, oh, you're going to bring us uh, uh, all that uh, estrogen uh, mimicker uh, water. Yeah, thank you. I mean, who knows? that? I mean, you, you can't even trust these people. They could be getting, they could be getting free water supplies from Fukushima. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And giving them to us. I mean, we don't know. We would never know. So, I, it, there is a big sham. And that, that $300 uh, million that they gave to help us, ain't none of us in the hood going to see that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And they're going to give away these free bottles. And here's the thing. Another thing, a conspiracy that was going around the jail when I was in there. They said that the county knew for six months and they all had their supplies and their water first. Uh, and they let us. And I would kept making those videos. Man, why does my head feel so cloudy? And, you know, people probably say, oh, that's because you're a drug addict. Oh, that's because you drink. When it, that, that, you know, hey, smoking weed a lot does make you, uh, uh, your brain does get a little, it, it's not as fast sometimes. Sometimes it's faster. But then you'll get, you'll come down and then you'll, after a while, you'll be, it does kind of give you a state where you got to kind of recover for a minute. It's not that you're crazy or insane or anything. You're just kind of tired. It's like, listen, laugh. For 15 minutes straight, just try this. And then stop and feel how tired and worn out it makes you. It's just like crying. You, if you cry, like, oh, uh, if you deeply w w lament, whether it's tears of joy, tears of revelation, tears of pain and sorrow and suffering and, and heavy lamentation, uh, you get tired like it releases uh, some kind of chemical in your brain that it's like, go to sleep. Rest now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it, it's almost like uh, it's 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 your body's uh trying to fight to ho look. Not only do you got health homeostasis, you got well being of your mind and heart as well, and your soul, your spirit. Uh, that also needs uh, you know, fixing and mending sometimes. So uh, it's hard to do though when they're jacking you up with gay bombs. Uh, the CIA created this thing where they were going to blast people with uh, gay gay chemicals. And then here's another thing. The Russians also flooded the streets during communist times with pornography. Because you can keep people trapped in their fantasy world. Whacking off, circle jerking, or seeking hookers. Or having two wives and separate families that you don't tell them both that you're involved in that. I mean, you know what I'm saying, and it's it, there are it's like the people break themselves. You know what I'm saying, chasing the carrot basically. So same thing in jail, they pump you up full of estrogens, where you're really horny because you're locked away from women. So it's almost like they're nudging you like this to uh, to walk on the gay side. And here's another thing: when guys go to jail, they have. Uh, man-on-man uh, -man intercourses and for some reason it's accepted now that no the guy doing the act like he's the taker and the other guy's the receiver the receiver's not gay only the person doing it and they only do it when they're j in jail so they're not gay and this is and look with the 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 soft penis salt the uh, <laughs> oh, that sounds so great it has such a great effect any man that uh is forced to be impotent when he uh, against his will. That is quite degrading. That is so Willie Lynch. You know what I'm saying? That is just so so Lucy Satanic Willie Lynchery. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
It's crazy. So you get you all sexually repressed and shit, and then throw you in a place where you're only with males. While they're gay bombing the shit out of you, giving you soy patties, you'd rather eat monkey brains. 